Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to have some fun with paper dolls. Now these are all dies that come from one kit. Spellbinders do have lots of kits, monthly kits that you can subscribe to. But today I'm going to show you the small die kit that they have released for the month of January. Down below you will find everything you need about the kit. So uh, it comes with all those dies. As you can see, you can cut out a little balloon as well as the string for the balloon. You also get this uh, head that you can use for a boy or a girl. And I don't know if you can see that it is etched so you know exactly where the eyes and the mouth is. You can also use this uh, hair that fit uh, for a boy or for a girl. You can have ponytails or um, braids. So you can easily play around with all the different uh, hair and customize your kit. Now in terms of hands, you get two sets of hands, so you can cut out lots of them if you are creating more than one doll. There are also different uh, ways to dress up your uh, doll, like with pants and a t-shirt or a dress. And there are also tiny little dies that cut out even more pieces, such as the eyes or a blush for the cheeks and many more. So let's make a card. Now I used colored cardstock to cut out all the pieces. I went with uh, a little girl for today. So you can see that I used pink to cut out the heart as well as the little dress. I used brown cardstock to cut out the hair. And now I'm just adding some blush with my alcohol markers on the cheeks. Now I am going to piece everything together by using my white glue. And I zoomed in for you, so hopefully you can see that uh, there are etched details on the face, so I know exactly where to stick the eyes. Now there are a couple of uh, different uh, eyes that you can use. I am going with the one with the double eyelashes, and I'm just going to stick them down for now. Now I'm going to do some inking around my hair as well as uh, the balloon and the dress, just to add something uh, extra. And, uh, uh, special touch on my project however you can just use it as it is you really don't need to ink up all the pieces now another way to go by is uh, to just cut out all the pieces out of white cardstock and then use your markers to color everything or you can use pattern paper to cut out the dress or the t-shirt and uh, the clothes that would be fun as well and now I have to say that as I am doing this voiceover, outside is snowing so heavily. We woke up in a completely white village today. It's so beautiful to look at it, but it's so difficult to go outside at the moment since all the roads around the house are closed. And I do get this question a lot. People think that uh, Greece is a tropical paradise, but it's not. We do enjoy all four seasons. So now, as you can see, I'm putting together the ponytails. Of course, you can use just one of them at the top. You can uh, place them on top of the head, just like I showed you previously. Now I'm going to stick the dress on top and you can do it the other way around, like stick the neck on top of the dress. This way you will end up having a V neck. I'm also going to stick down that uh, little frill and there are a couple of those for uh, the sleeves. Now my little girl is ready and I just used a couple of dies, rectangle dies one inside the other to create this uh, frame. I used the same pink cardstock as the dress and the heart and I'm also inking up the edges just to give the same look as the rest of my pieces. Now at the back I have used um, foam tape so that I can stick it on top of my card and have a raised frame. I'm not going for a shaker card today but you could easily repeat the same uh, design and turn it into a shaker card. I also used my scissors to cut out those tiny little triangles from the same cardstock as her head and uh, the hands just to give the idea that there are actually legs under her dress. I don't need those to be too long. I'm going to use foam squares at the back and I'm going to tuck uh, my little girl as if she is popping from the frame. And now I'm going to give her a balloon. For that I used some foam squares at the back of the balloon and I have also attached some uh, white and uh, pink uh, baker's twine. I'm going to stick that down and if you notice I have already embossed my sentiment that says with love. I'm going to attach the other end of the string just underneath her hand so that it looks as if she's holding it. 
and I'm going to chop off the excess. Now the card is ready as it is, but I'm going to add some uh, fun finishing touches like I always do. So I'm using my white glue to add some dots of glue and then on top I'm going to stick some uh, shiny pink stars. I think this set is super fun to play with, especially if you have kids or grandkids. Paper piecing these boys and girls and creating uh, variations of kids with uh, different clothes is such a fun activity for everyone. Now I'm also going to give my little girl a couple of earrings. I just use clear gems but you can go more vibrant. And I'm going to add a finishing touch to bring this girl to life. I'm going to use my white Posca pen and just add a dot at the center of its eye. I will call this card done but you can go ahead and add some ribbons on her ponytails. You can give her a bracelet or a necklace. There are so many different ways to dress her up. If you want more info about the Spellbinders die kit, you will find uh, the link down below. I hope you all had fun today and you got inspired. Thank you all so much for visiting and I'll see you all next time.